welcome back. Throughout June, Pittsburgh has been celebrating Pride Month. Well, we didn't want the month to end without checking out a new spot in town that will soon be opening its doors for good. Yeah, this is really great news. We're talking about one of the first LGBTQ owned distilleries in the state of PA. Daisy is there and they're having a soft opening for the next two days to close out Pride Month. So PTL is getting an exclusive first look and Daisy's getting a first taste. Hey, Heather and Mikey. Yes, well, as you know, Sharpsburg, we've actually been here a few times lately because this place is hopping and adding to one of their newest locations is Love Katie Distilling. And we're so excited to actually be here because, as you mentioned, it is one of the first LGBTQ owned distilleries. We are here with Katie Siriani, the owner. And Katie, tell us real quick about what made you want to open this place. Yeah, I mean, I really just think um, love is overcomplicated. So that's the story behind love, comma, Katie Distilling, is it is a love letter. So um, it's my love letter to my girlfriend, but it can be a love letter to anybody. So you could come in, get a drink for your loved one, and uh, share uh, a good time in this vibe. Passion, joy, and a good cocktail. I love cocktails. I love gin, vodka, so that was really the drive behind it was to be able to create a new product and bring it into the community. Well, I know that we have Brian back here who's your manager slash bartender for the day. He's going to make us some exciting drinks. What did we have earlier, by the way? Yes, earlier we had a B&T, which uses Aquavit, which is a Scandinavian gin, um, and a couple fun little flavors that uh, give it a little bit of a twist on a gin and tonic. All right, well, as we walk back there to the bar, tell us about the vibe of your place. You have been doing some intense renovation, especially even in the past week. I mean, even the pictures of what it looked like just a few days ago is pretty intense. But um, uh, tell us about this. I love the black and white aesthetic. Yeah, I really wanted to take the color out of the space. Um, like I said earlier, I think love is overcomplicated. It's not just within the gay community. It's also within interracial relationships. And even some straight relationships get a lot of um, discrimination. So I just kind of wanted to make it a space that everybody feels welcome and comfortable. So um, took the color out of it. I am an old soul at heart. So we'll be playing 40s and 50s music. Um, on the walls, we've got pictures of uh, Old, like 40s Betty White, um, Lucille Ball, um, Marilyn Monroe, just um, also a moving art piece, which will be a black and white screen playing old black and white shows, just to kind of bring something fun into the space and uh, take away from people just sitting and watching TV to be able to enjoy each other's company. Well, I know this is totally my vibe, so I will certainly be coming back. But Brian, what are you going to be making for us today? So what I'm going to be making for you today is going to be a watermelon gin and watermelon refresco. And with that, uh, we're going to be using a London dry gin, uh, mixing it with some watermelon juice, a little bit of simple syrup, um, and just topping it off. Uh, a little bit of lime too as well. Ooh, all right, well, while you get cracking, we're gonna ask really quickly about your soft opening. I know it's really exciting for the city of Sharpsburg. It is, so we actually didn't even think that we were gonna open today, but I pushed really hard today is International Pride Day. Um, so in a 48 hour period, we knocked this space out. It looked nothing like this 48 hours ago. The walls were bare, the ceilings looked very undone. It was um, worrisome to say the least. So we are having a, a soft launch party this evening for people that really helped get this space together. The mayor, Brittany, will be coming down to do a ribbon cutting ceremony. She has been amazing in helping us really get, get things moving along. We're um, partnering up actually with Yost Yosturia, yeah. and um, so they'll be bringing food down, and we will actually be working with them in the future when we are open to the public um, for two days starting tomorrow and Friday, and then we'll be closing again to kind of finish renovations, but we will be partnering with them so guests can come in, order food here on site, and have their food brought down to be able to enjoy, and there's nothing like community and working together to, to make a, a space that's really trying to rebuild a better like spot for new people to come in and really enjoy. Yeah, and there's nothing better than enjoying a nice refreshing drink. This is the watermelon refresco, correct? Yeah. Awesome. Well, here, I'll pass this over to you. Yeah. Cheers. Heather and uh, woo, Mikey, Cheers. 
I wish you guys were here. Cheers. Happy LGBTQ day. <laughs> Oh. And uh, be sure to come down and check out this space. I mean, it's gorgeous. The drinks are amazing. Somebody? Cheers. Yeah, you Daisy, know, that space looks great. Well, I, yeah. and there's there's something about that. Have, being an old soul, as she mentioned, mm -hmm. it just seems very romantic. Like it a nice does. spot to go and just have a drink and kick back and well, relax. And watermelon cocktail. I know. It's, it's just all in your face today. You can learn more about Love Katie on our website. And if you're interested in learning uh, even more about local distilleries, you're in luck because PTL has a special distillery and spirits week coming up in mid-July. So stay tuned for that. Sounds fun.